Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another JF Productions Studio video. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Govi Glide wall light. Uh, we're gonna be seeing exactly what this light's all about. It does have that kind of tube neon look to it. That's why I like it. But we're gonna see if it's actually a nice quality light. So I'll also be showing you guys how to set it up and um, should be a fairly easy process. So, but before we get into the video, I am gonna spin a wheel here real quick to do our giveaway from the last video and see who ends up winning it. So stay tuned and let's get right into this video. So here we go. Best of luck for you guys. Here we go. Boom, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Insane Chaos at Gamer has won the first giveaway on the JF Productions channel. Congratulations, bro. Comes with six of the plastic tube lights there, or the cable with the control settings on it for the power and the adapter probably plugs into this. Alcohol prep wipes, extra adhesives, and that's all that is in the box. All right, so now for like the setup side of this, and I figured it would be like one really long tube with all six connected. Yeah, so I forgot to mention the price of the lights off the rip. They are going for $67 on Amazon right now. I did see you could apply a $20 coupon, bringing it down to about $47. I also dropped the link down in the description below. So yeah. But it's actually a three tubes connected at one time, meaning you're gonna have two beams of light. I am gonna show you guys this. It comes with four, which are considered B that have uh, this kind of thing on the end of them. Tell you guys real quick how to set them up. So you're gonna wanna take two Bs and just put them together, just like that. And then you will take one A. The ones that are A don't have that little thing hanging on the outside of them. And you're gonna stick one A on the top of B. So that's what they'll look like. You'll have two of them and then you'll connect it to the outlet in the controller thing at the bottom. Here's the control. So I'll have two of these to plug into the bottoms of both beams leading to the control. So this controller as well, the power button right here, this button in the middle is to cycle through nine colors and the very bottom button is for a music mode or to cycle through six levels of brightness. You could also sync it to your phone all right, just to kind of show you guys what I'm thinking here. I'm gonna be putting one of them on here. Since I have the second one, I'm probably gonna be putting it on this side. Just to kind of have two parallel tubes there going up. So pretty much the first thing I would recommend doing, taking this charger here, instead of measuring everything out, taking both chargers out and actually seeing how much cord length you have to play with, meaning, which you do have a lot of cord. So you're gonna take this one, plug it into the controller, take the outlet, plug it into where you want it to go. And then from there, you'll actually know how much distance you'll have and if it'll reach. Instead of mounting the tubes on there first and then not having enough length to uh, cover the space. That kind of makes sense. So what we're gonna do is gonna go under here, plug this in and then just run the cords and lay it out to where the tube will be going. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna get up here and, and kind of see where it's gonna go right now. So that it's not like completely hiding, I'm gonna kind of put it back there and see what it looks like. I have a lot of stuff going on back there, so we'll see. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to get it up on your wall with the adhesive tapes from the back of these. Usually you can start from the bottom. That's already plugged into the cord. I have one over here, but due to my setup, I'm gonna start from the top and then work my way down. The top piece would be the A piece. You see the little adhesive here. All you obviously do is pull these off. Super easy. Get this bad boy up there where it's gotta go. So it's like a five second hold on them. Adhesives are very strong adhesive. So once you already put them up there, they're gonna be very hard to take off or like readjust. So like make sure you put it on a spot that is uh, where you want it. So then this piece right here, you just slide it in to the bottom of it. You just work your way down, take the adhesive off and slide it in. Boom, done with that one and then the final piece will be the third piece that's connected to the cord at the bottom there. You just take off the adhesives to there and you just connect it to the second piece. Okay, so now we are like completely finished with the installment side of it. You can't see because of the light right now, but we have two of them running up on both sides of this foam. So from here, we're gonna turn this bad boy on and see what it actually looks like. I'm kind of excited to see the final result and then we'll get into actually how to pair it up with your phone so you won't have to use that remote at the bottom of your desk or wherever you choose to put it. All right, guys, next up, I just wanted to go over some of the features on the apps. I don't, I'm not gonna get too far into it because there's so many modes and um, settings that you could do to it, uh, but we'll just go over it real quick. Uh, so once you have it synced up, obviously you should turn it on. Uh, they have a brightness kind of control here where you can turn it all the way down to the lowest setting. So that'd be the low to, lowest setting for the app to, this is around 26. Now we're moving up, that's around 43%, which that's already pretty bright. So uh, the luminous of this light is very good. Um, one of the reasons I really do like it. Um, there's 82 all the way to 100%, which that that's just solid. Um, we're gonna keep it around probably around like, just for this next example, around 50. Uh, so the next thing that was kind of cool was that you could actually change each individual tube and completely customize the tube there if you like. Uh, meaning for each section you can turn it like, let's say you wanted the top part to be red. It would turn that section of the tube red. I'll do it also here. I want these top two to be red. So that's perfect example. So if I wanted it to be completely customized, you have a cold to warm settings there. You have a whole color wheel if you really wanted to get into it, which I thought was just super cool. Another, another cool one would probably be the scenes. Usually when I get lights, I'm not like the biggest fan of scenes and just having it. I usually just, I'm pretty simple. I, I put it to the color I, I'm kind of feeling and then I just leave it at that. Um, but this one actually did have so many different scenes. I'm just gonna go over some of them. I mean, that's probably a little too bright, but like the scenes are actually pretty cool and variation of like different rhythms that each scene has. So yeah, just go around, play through the scenes and find, find one, I'm sure you'll find one you like there. Different settings, like this is business supposedly, technology. Then they do have a music mode. So for the music mode, it's actually, you could turn how sensitive you want it to be. As of right now, um, you can tell it's, it's got different rhythms and different modes for the music mode, depending on, you know, like 
the rhythm of a piano or like energetic and rhythm so right now it's just on rhythm um you can pair it to either it looks like a device or right now it's paired to the actual uh rgb light right now so anyways that's pretty much what i saw that was kind of cool through the app and just like the the, the roundabout the, just the quick gist of it like i said you could do a lot more if you want to dig deeper into it overall i think the lights are pretty pretty high quality for the, the price of i don't think i ever mentioned the price they go for around 45 dollars uh, which is actually a very fair price for what you're getting here. But yeah, my overall opinion, I would say they're definitely worth the price, definitely worth a cop. Uh, I was not expecting to get two of them, so that was a plus. The installment was, for me, it was somewhat difficult just because of the way that my setup is designed. But if you were going for something, um, you know, around the couch or, or wherever you're going to put it, 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 the installment is very easy. Any cons, the only con that I would really have, I wouldn't even really say it's a con, but like once you install them, that's pretty much where they're staying unless you're going to want to, you know, apply new adhesives or something around those lines. But yeah, if you guys are interested in these, I did drop the link down below. Uh, I think, like I said, they're going for around $45, which is, I believe is an absolute steal for uh, this light, this kind of this kind of a look. Uh, I just think it's a very clean look. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. If this video helped you out at all, drop a like down below, subscribe if you guys want to, and uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. I'm out, peace.